Hello, it's Judas Pinkavichus and in this video I would like to talk about how to ensure that you will be able to reach uh, the normal concert tempo. It could be a fast, a really fast tempo of your organ piece. Imagine that you are um, mastering, practicing your organ piece uh, according to these methods of slow practice and uh, and um, repetitive fragments, uh, repetitive practicing, uh, practicing fragments, and uh, reduced texture up to one voice, two parts, three part combinations, all these things, right? And you're getting better, you're getting better in, in learning a piece in a slow tempo, right? And you can, you can play this piece fluently at a very slow tempo. You have noticed that, right? So this video will teach you how to ensure that you can reach the fast tempo. After you learn the, the slow tempo, there is still a need to, to really go faster, right? And a lot of people get stuck on this and say, wow, I, I, I never can play in a, up to speed in a fast tempo. My technique is not, not good enough. And here's the thing. You can reach the fast tempo by, pl by playing very, very systematically in a very, very smart way. Let me explain. Uh, when you master, as soon as you master your piece in fragments, uh, in a slow tempo, complete uh, texture, uh, hands together and pedals together, everything together, right? Four part texture if it's a four part, uh, four part composition. As soon as you do that, then you need to work on, 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 on playing in a in, um, in very, very interesting way. The first step is uh, trying playing a chord, the first measure, downbeat, right? And then stopping at this downbeat looking ahead and playing the next few notes until the next beat and stopping them. Basically, you will be stopping like uh, every beat, right? You can stop for, for several uh, seconds, doesn't matter uh, how long you, you, you stay there on the beat waiting for for the next beat to come right you you just wait and you look ahead what's coming next and when you're ready you play another few notes up to the next beat and then stop and then wait and then look forward and then and then play again and then again stop every beat right but these uh, small notes in between of the beat have to be performed at the concert tempo Imagine you're playing uh, uh, at the 4-4 at the four, four meter, a piece or chorale prelude, prelude, and you're stopping every beat. So it would be pam, pa 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 pam, pa 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 pam, pa 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 pam. You would basically uh, play these 16 notes faster, up, up to tempo, and a lot of people struggle to play fast notes, but you only need to play four notes fast, and then you stop, that's it. And you, you play the entire piece like that, stopping at every beat. And then you can uh, do this at least three times in a row correctly, and then the next step is uh, combining this, is f this, this with two uh, quarter notes, basically stopping every half note. And do this three times in a row without mistakes until the end of the piece. And then stopping every measure, and then stopping every two measures, and then every, every line, uh, and then every two lines, every, every page, right? Every two pages. By that time, uh, you will discover that you can play fast, as fast as you as you want, at the concert speed, and uh, at the last uh, step would be every four pages or even the entire piece, three times in a row correctly. Do this in each step, right, and start by stopping at every beat. 
it. This is a powerful, powerful technique. Not too many uh, people do this. And uh, of course, if you knew this uh, before, so the problems would really disappear. So go ahead and even to the, tonight, when you practice your piece tonight, try to practice in in uh, in quarter notes, and you will discover how easy it is to play up to tempo in between these two beats, right? How easy, and you can stop and wait, and then play faster after that, and stop in short, short fragments, basically one beat, and then two beats, and, and so on, making these fragments longer and longer and longer. This technique will save your playing, when you have to be ready for public performance, up to tempo, up to speed. This is a very, very powerful technique that I personally recommend and use whenever I have to prepare for public recital. Thanks.